comparison of information and technology industry in India and USA. Modern age is the age of communication. Various modern means of communication have revolutionized the entire world. This revolution is reflected in social, political and economic environment world over. In fact, these changes have minimized distances to such an extent that the whole world now appears as a global village. Nowadays, radio, television, telephone, telegraph, fax and computers connect people in different parts of the world. This has made our life much comfortable. It is a combination of unique thoughts and futuristic vision which an average person has at the press of the button. Information technology includes the processing, storing and transferring of information in a digital form. It includes developing computer software, hardware, disks and different telecommunication systems that help in saving information. In the earlier days, a great deal of labor, time, space and energy was needed to process, save and store information, but today everything can be done very quickly and efficiently on computers. This has been possible because of the development in the IT sector. Software engineers trained in computers and related fields can evolve methods and techniques to manage projects in a unique manner. Over the last three to four decades, the whole world has come to realize the importance of IT. Bengaluru, India It is the capital city of Karnataka, which is one of the largest cities of the country. After independence, it has emerged as a major transportation and manufacturing center with industries producing communication equipment, machine tools, aircrafts, electric motors, textile, footwear and watches. Bengaluru is the base of India's space program as well. The electronics industry of India developed after independence. To develop broadcasting and telecommunication, the Government of India set up the Indian Telephone Industry near Bengaluru in 1950. At present, this industry has diversified its production range to meet the needs of railways, defence and post and telegraph department. This range includes automatic telephone switching system, teleprinter, long-distance transmission systems, etc. Bharat Electronics Limited is another government undertaking set up at Bengaluru in 1956. It meets the electronics need of the Defence Services, All India Radio and Meteorological Department. At present, the industry produces audio and studio equipments, radars and communication equipment. Bengaluru is indeed the electronics capital of the country. During the last two decades, many private companies under private sector have been established. Bengaluru earned a worldwide name because of the development of software industry. Since the late 1970s, it has been developing as a major computer software production centre. Till date, Bengaluru has seen a tremendous growth in the field of information technology. In 1991, a software technology park was set up in Bengaluru. By 1998, there were 253 IT companies. Recently, the Indian Institute of Information Technology has been set up in Bengaluru. By 2000, the number of IT companies went up to 782. Now, several multinational companies have set up their offices at Bengaluru. It has earned the reputation of being the Silicon Valley of India or the IT capital of India. Bengaluru has certain specific advantages for the development of information and technology. The climate of Bengaluru is very conducive for work. It is neither very cold nor very hot. It is pleasant throughout the year. The mild conditions make working conditions very attractive. Karnataka has a large number of educational institutions. The academic environment around Bengaluru is highly conducive to technical education. There are a large number of excellent schools and engineering colleges. There are a large number of training centres too. Bengaluru has been attracting a lot of foreign and domestic IT firms, which open their centres too. Software parks encourage people to work with the latest techniques and gadgets. Foreign firms like GE, 
IBM, Intel, Motorola and Sun have set up their development centers here. Indian companies have established their centers in Bengaluru and are providing stiff competition to foreign firms. IT giants like Infosys, Tata Consultancy Services, TCS and Wipro have employed highly trained people to work on projects for the domestic and foreign markets. Lately, many US and European firms have accepted Indian talent and are outsourcing work to Indian firms that are mostly centered in Bengaluru. This has rightly earned it the name Silicon Valley of India. Bengaluru also has a highly skillful and educated labor force readily available to work in the IT industries. Bengaluru had relatively low rents due to which cost of living was not high. Industrial growth has made Bengaluru expensive. All these factors have made Bengaluru a prominent center for software industry. The foreign clients of Indian software firms are becoming more and more confident about their ability and quality. For Indians, it is a matter of pride and their capabilities are recognized the world over. Bengaluru has gained international recognition in the field of software technology. Silicon Valley, USA Silicon Valley in the southern part of the San Francisco Bay Area in the North California in the United States. The term originally referred to the region's large number of silicon chip innovators and manufacturers but eventually came to refer to high-tech businesses in the area. The valley stretches over 40 kilometers and includes 13 cities. Once this valley was a rich farmland filled with orchards, today it is known for technology development. Here, the electronics industry developed during the Second World War period. Despite growth in the technology sector throughout the nation, Silicon Valley continues to be the high-tech hub because of its large number of engineers and venture capitalists. Following factors have helped it in the development of information and technology. Its Mediterranean type of climate has attracted a large number of people. Lots of activities and developments have transformed California into one of the most technically advanced states of USA. Santa Clara Valley is best known for its headquarters or hub of such firms as Hewlett Packard, Intel and Lockheed Aerospace. In addition to computers, companies in this region produce peripheral equipments like disks, tape drives, circuits or chips, radar, microwave, etc. Stanford Industrial Park was set up near the Stanford University, which is a high technology center. IBM, NASA, Xerox, etc. also started their research departments in the Silicon Valley. Nowadays, there is a shift in the industrial research activities in the valley from supercomputers to personal computers. There is further development of software and internet. Network-based information has now revolutionized the world. There is availability of skilled labor and enough capital to be invested. Power supply is readily available to run industries. Rich entrepreneurs continue coming to the valley to set up new companies. The employees and skilled workers also move accordingly. This has a great economic importance in the advancement of the country. These factors made Silicon Valley a center of world fame in computers and electronics industry. The inflow of skilled and paid employees to the valley over the last two decades raised housing policies and labor costs dramatically. To take advantage of lower cost labor and housing facilities elsewhere, many Silicon Valley based firms shifted production to South California, especially the San Diego area. Although decentralization of production proceeded, yet the Silicon Valley has matured into an elite residential and control center of information technology. Presently, more and more American companies are outsourcing work to India, particularly to Bengaluru, Mumbai and Delhi to take advantage of the comparatively low remuneration level in India and thus making more profit. There are many Chinese and Indian engineers already stationed in the Silicon Valley at Santa Clara and San Jose near San Francisco who are engaged in the software development. 
The intelligence and diligence of the Indian and Chinese IT experts is recognized in the West. Companies such as IBM, Microsoft, Intel, etc. have set up centers in Bengaluru and other metropolitan cities of India. It is much cheaper for these companies to operate from India. In turn, they are helping the Indian companies. Now, we can say that India is at the threshold of an IT revolution. India enjoys an abundance of raw materials of iron and steel industry and skilled personnel for IT industry.